Good morning. Time to make the coffee. The last of my little vanilla creme brulee coffee pods from Aldi's. They were so good. And usually I only have one cup of coffee a day. And this is it. I used to drink coffee all day long. But I can't do that anymore because it messes with my stomach. So now I limit it to one cup with the oh-so-nasty chocolate caramel creamer that tastes wonderful. So I don't drink that all day long. I usually switch to tea in the afternoon. And um, I drink a lot of herbal iced tea. So... Those are my beverages of the day. I don't really like water. I've tried. I just don't like the taste of it. And a lot of people say, well, water doesn't have a taste. Well, to me it does. And even bottled water, any kind of water, I just do not like the taste. And it doesn't seem to quench my thirst. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's what I find to be true. So anyway, I will totally enjoy my morning cup of coffee with the creamer that I know isn't healthy, but it's so tasty. So anyway, I think pretty much anything in moderation, well, not anything. I mean, even, you know, you don't want poison in moderation, but um, I think a few things like that won't hurt you. So... I will carry on. I really like this mug. I love the inside of it. And I got that at Family Dollar this within a week. And it was only $3. And they had a couple different ones, but I like this one because I like orange. And orange is my favorite color. Not, not a, you know, in-your-face orange. Not real bright. I don't like that. But sort of a muted orange um, and the funny thing is one of my grandsons his favorite color is orange too so I guess I passed that on to him but anyway let's try this delicious coffee so cheers oh yes that really hits the spot so today it's going to be 75 degrees, um, not supposed to get any rain, there is a slight chance of rain, but um, I really need to get out into the garden again today, and I, since I didn't do anything in the garden yesterday because I needed to recover, um, I feel better this morning, so I don't want to overdo it because tonight my little granddaughter has a, a show, and she's in charge of the costumes. So we're going to go to that. And I don't want to be totally walking like I'm 90 years old, which happens a lot by the end of the day. So I'm going to have to pace myself. Seems like there's always something waiting in the wings. I'm a, I'm a creative person. I love to create things. <laughs> And I can think of more things to create than than I have money, honestly. I've always been that way. And um, sometimes I get a little carried away with the creating. And then, later on, you have to maintain all your creations. So it makes it a little bit uh, um, of a chore sometimes <laughs> to be too creative. But what the heck, I should be creative and think of a way to make money being creative. And I know a lot of people do it. They have, you know, crafts that they sell. And I used to do that. I used to go to craft shows, and I would sell my jewelry and my paintings. But it got to be too much, dragging all that stuff around. I still have the tent and the tables and the tablecloths. Um, I still have all that stuff, but 
I can't haul any of that in my little car. And Tom's not around anymore, so he can't help me with it. He used to. I mean, he used to help me quite a bit, actually. But, um, you know, and it's just too much. You have to set it all up, and, um, yeah, it got to be too much. So I gave that up quite a while ago. But I suppose I could do some sort of online selling, um, whether that's Amazon. They have a... Um, um, a place there where artisans can sell things, or Etsy, or there's a bunch of different places where you can sell things. The problem that I find with a lot of that is you have to store your wares somewhere. And uh, I do have um, a craft slash guest room that I could use, but I'm trying to keep that... Um, cleaned up just in case my mom needs to come and spend the night or something and sometimes my grandson likes to sleep up there which is good it it was his mom's room when they lived here with me and uh he had a room upstairs too because when he was a baby they lived with me for a while he and his mom and dad and until they got their own place so, um, yeah, I love having my family around, and any of them at any time could move in with me, and I'd be perfectly happy with that. I don't like having strangers living with me, though. I wouldn't like that. You know, people that aren't family. A, a really good friend I could, I could do for a short time, but, um, I mean, actually, that would be a good way to bring in income would be to either rent out a room or rent out my basement or, you know, but I don't want to do that. I like my privacy. I like my alone time. And um, so that that's kind of out of the picture for me. So anyway, um, I'm going to really savor and enjoy this cup of coffee and uh, think about how I want to get my garden put to bed. The last thing that I can do out there is pull up the, the plants, but I can do that after the frost kills them. That's no big deal. But I do have some cleanup to do out there. It's not a horrendous amount, but it still needs to be done. Some things need to be covered up, and uh, some things I'm actually going to leave uncovered and if they don't survive the winter, they're going to go to the bulk pickup because uh, I have too much out there. I don't need that much. So, okay, uh, I will meet you at the budget book after I have a little bit of my coffee and just ponder, ponder my situation. Okay, here I am back at the budget book. Well, yesterday I didn't spend any money, so I'm going to give myself a green check mark. Um, I didn't go anywhere. I basically waited for the window repair man, and he did fix the window, and I got my window put back together. I got all my little fairy lights back up, and, and my macrame wall, not wall hangings, but you know, curtain things, and so got everything cleaned up there, so my living room is put back together, and I'm glad, because I spend a lot of time in that room, and when it's a mess, then I just uh, don't feel cozy in there, so I had um, a, a tray there that was full of stuff that I didn't really know what to do with. It was like in transition. Do I want to keep it? Do I want to get rid of it? So I cleaned that up and now uh, the room is good to go. And I, I tried to make it easy to clean. Now I do have some bookshelves and things with, you know, tchotchkes and books and knickknacks, but I like that kind of stuff. It, it, adds to the coziness of the room for me. As a matter of fact, at one point I had thought about 
uh, making a whole wall in my dining room, just a, a big built-in uh, bookcase. And I thought about getting one of those library ladders and, um, you know, just, I, I like that kind of stuff. I, I feel very comfortable in places like um, libraries and bookstores and wineries and and bistros. I, I like all that. So, and you know, a lot of those places, they do have a lot of stuff in there. They have a lot of interesting things to look at. And that's what I enjoy. So that's why I say that I will personally never be a minimalist because of that. But I do like, you know, a clean, airy room is nice too. Um, and I enjoy being in those spaces, but I think I would get a little bored with it, you know. So, well, I don't know. I'm not going to go there, so I'll probably never find out. But anyway, um, we all have to go with what our nature is. And my nature is to um, surround myself with the things that I enjoy, but not to the point where... I can't take care of it and I can't keep it clean. So, and, and some people might think, oh, that's just too much stuff for me. You know, and I get that. But to me, that's not what I consider clutter. What I consider clutter, and I've said this before, are the piles of stuff that manifest that you really don't know what to do with. Like I have... On my steps, I have two leather jackets that, and I really don't wear leather very often because, um, you know, it, it kind of, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable in it. First of all, leather to me is not that warm. And secondly, it does come from an animal. So, I mean, I do have leather shoes and, and leather purses that I bought years and years ago that I figure, well, you know, I might as well use them. But these two jackets, uh, one of them is very, very heavy. It's actually a beautiful jacket, and one side of it is leather, and then the inside of it is like a faux fur and you can turn that you can turn it inside out and wear it either either or but i kind of keep it in case the um power ever goes out now that is a really really warm jacket but it's extremely heavy and it's very bulky so i don't know i don't want to put it in the attic because it gets too hot up there and uh I imagine I'll just put it in the basement in a in a closet down there. But it's been on my steps for literally months. You know, it, it's not in the way, it's just an eyesore. So that to me is clutter. Things that you just don't quite know what to do with. You don't want to get rid of them. You're not sure where you want to put them. Um... Maybe it requires you to get rid of something else in order to make space for that particular item. So, but until you get around to decluttering the place where you want it to live, it just kind of hangs out there. So that's part of my mission this year, and hopefully I'll get that done by Christmas, is to get rid of all the little areas where... I have a little pile of something. So, because that does drive me crazy, you know, looking at piles where it's like, because it, it reminds me of, hey, hello, we're still here, you know. <laughs> so anyway, that's my mission this year, and hopefully I'll get that done before Christmas and find homes for all those things that I want to keep and find homes for all those things that I want to get rid of. So, all right, I'm going to finish up my coffee, make myself a little list here of what I want to get done and accomplished in the garden, a uh, cleanup project, and um, there we go. All right, I'll be back. All right, good morning, good morning. I'm back. 
I just wanted to do a little reminder. I'm still drinking my morning coffee. I hope you have your beverage of choice and you can visit with me for a while. But I did want to talk a little bit about uh, our Facebook group. Um, and if you would like to join, it has the same name as my channel, Ellen's Abundant Life on Less. Uh, I think I still have the two. One of them has only like 30 some members and I'm going to uh, delete that one. Um, that was the one I was trying to make the group private and I didn't know what I was doing. So finally I, I ended up creating another group with the same name. So if you want to join, uh, send me a request and I'll let you join. And it's, it's the group with over 200 members. So we're growing and I'm excited about that. Really, really nice people on there. And, um, you know, feel free to post on there, you know, anything, pictures of you, of your dog, of your cat, uh, of your bird, whatever, whatever you have, your kids. Um, you can post vid videos on there, post your own favorite recipes, especially now with the holidays coming up. Um, if you have some really delicious recipes you want to share, you can always take a picture of it and um, of the recipe and then share it on the page. Uh, something quick and easy. We all could use some tips. So come on over and join us on the Facebook group. Now there's also, that one's private. Now there's also a public page that you can follow too, um, if you like. So, um, and you know, you can post what you want on there too. Just keep it kind and keep it nice, you know. Um, don't start any shenanigans on there. That wouldn't be good and I'd have to delete you. And then, you know, you know how that goes. So anyway, um, the other thing that I wanted to mention was um, I was looking at my analytics and for this is for YouTube. I was looking at my YouTube analytics and I saw on there that 52% of the people that watch the channel aren't subscribed. So, you know, I would really, really love it if you like my content and, and you watch my content on a regular basis, if you could please subscribe. It, it helps push out the algorithm. Um, commenting does that, giving thumbs up, even giving thumbs down, whatever. Uh, it all helps push out my videos on the uh, suggested video viewing things. So if you could please go ahead and subscribe, that would help me out a, a lot. Uh, right now, I went through a stage where I got a lot of new subscribers, and right now it's kind of just hanging there. <laughs> it's like, you know, 20 hours later. I wish I could find that little clip, that uh, audio clip. If any of you know where I could find that, <laughs> that little audio clip, uh, I would really like that. But anyway, so if you could just go ahead and subscribe, it would make me very, very happy. And this is where all the happy people are. All my subscribers are basically pretty happy people. They're kind people. Once in a while, I get a negative Nelly that just, you know, no matter what I do, they have something, something else to add to it, and it's like, Hi. <laughs> There's enough negativity in the world. I don't need it on the channel. So anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. And I feel like I'm making progress. Um, and next week, uh, 
hopefully, if he's not too busy, my friend handyman will come and do a few chores for me. I have to get those shutters back up on my house. The one blew off during a storm. And I've already gotten a couple of association nasty grams about that, saying, well, you know, you need to put it back up. It's like, yeah, I'm trying, but I can't do it. I mean, I have a two-story house. I'm not getting up there and doing it. No way. That'll be the end of me if I ever fall off of that. I'm very leery about going on ladders as it is. I don't personally, I, I don't like heights. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> At one point, um, you know, I'm from Germany. Okay, I was born there. We came here when I was four. My parents are legal immigrants. And um, they came here with nothing. And they literally live the American dream. You know, my dad and mom, they were very, very hard-working people. They taught me um, the work ethic that they had, which I was always very thankful for. I had the best parents, and I still have my mom, but, you know, my dad, too. I was blessed. Let me just put it that way. I was blessed. And I'm an only child, so I don't have brothers and sisters. Very small family. So I went out and I created my own family. So um, now we have quite a few members in the family. I have three kids. I have five grandkids. They all have spouses or significant others. And it, it just, it works, you know. So I expanded the family. <laughs> it's like, I think I want a little bit bigger family. So that's what I did. So anyway, um, and, and they are another blessing. I mean, even if I had absolutely nothing material, I would still feel blessed because I have my family and my dogs and um, I have good friends. I, I don't have like a ton of friends, but the friends that I have, I've had for a very long time. And um, I feel blessed that I have them, too. So, my tree is still pretty, but, you know, she's losing her leaves very quickly. Yesterday, uh, the mowers and the, the, the leaf blowers were here, and my whole front lawn was covered with a couple of inches of beautiful uh, red and orange leaves that had fallen, so... Before too long, if we get a good storm, all the leaves will be gone. But I've really enjoyed that tree this year. It, it's just gorgeous. So, um, I'm making plans in the garden for 2024. And I like to do that as I clean up the garden. I make myself notes of what I want to do different next year. Actually, I do that a lot where, okay, this isn't working the way I did it, so I need to do something else and, and try that. And if that doesn't work, I'll try something different. But I like to make notes for myself. And um, that way it keeps it a little fresher in my head. So I haven't been doing too much cooking lately. Um, I have things in the freezer that I can just pop in the air fryer or the toaster oven or something. So that's what I've been eating and uh, finishing up the last of the produce. Um, so I, I'm working on that too and uh, trying to make some room. And I'm not going to go shopping because uh, it is a uh, no food shopping spending for October and I, like I said I think the last time I went food shopping was on September 19th so um, on the Facebook page um, one of the viewers posted that all these after November 1st I think is going to be having big price cuts on um, 
holiday items, food items. So I think that would be a really good time to stock up on butter, excuse me, butter, you know, whatever else you need for your holiday baking, flour. Um, so maybe that'll give people a little bit of a price break. So that would be good. Anyway, um, what else did I want to mention? Hmm, let me have a sip of coffee and think about that. If I do go to Aldi's, I'll probably go the first or the second week of uh, November. I'll go do some shopping. I'm not going to go crazy um, because I, you know, I still want to maintain the the um, cleaning up some of the older food before I add more new, but um, if all these does have good deals, I'm definitely going to pick up some extras. I did that last year with the butter, and I had butter pretty much for the whole year, so that was good. And um, I'm already going to start thinking about holiday meals before I shop and what it is I want to make. Um, I've been doing a lot of the holiday meals where people will bring something. You know, somebody will bring a dessert, somebody will bring an appetizer. And I've been really enjoying having a, a whole spread of just finger foods and appetizers. I mean, everybody likes that. And then I usually do buffet style for whatever food I make, and I either bake everything in the oven, or in a crock pot. I pick dishes that I can do in the crock pot. I have a few crock pots. I have three or four of them, and I'll do something a little different in each crock pot, and it's so easy. And then I use everything throwaway. You know, even the stuff for the oven. I used to put on these wonderful dinners with my beautiful Christmas dishes and all that. Well, I sold those. I sold all the dishes that I had for, you know, big gatherings. I, I sold those. And uh, it's so much easier just to do paper plates and um, throw away, you know, containers for baking. So that's what I do now. I've been doing that the last few years, and it's been working out really great. So um, I don't use paper plates very often, uh, but for gatherings, I do. Because, uh, you know, it used to be that everybody would be having a good time, and I'd be at the sink, you know, washing dishes, or my son would be cleaning up dishes, or, you know, and it's like, I want to spend time with my family. I don't want to spend time cleaning up a big mess. So that has been working great. And then another thing I've done to simplify the holidays is I give money. Sometimes I give a small gift along with that if it's something that I think, you know, maybe a candle if I know they like uh, a certain candle scent or a couple candles and I put everything in a gift bag that'll fit in a gift bag. Usually those you can get really cheap at the Dollar Tree or Marks or you know and the small gift bags you know that are like this big sometimes you even get two of them. Um, so tissue paper and gift bags. I don't I very rarely buy wrapping paper anymore. In fact, I had so much wrapping paper. I've given my daughter a lot of it. You know, things I picked up after the holiday. So I gave my daughter a lot of it. I've used up a lot of it. And I still have a lot of wrapping paper. So um, I do want to use that up. But I do almost everything in gift bags now. So that really makes it simple for the holidays, too. And then when I'm at um, Dollar Tree or Marks or wherever I am, when I see inexpensive um, those 
card holders where, you know, you can put money in them. I picked those up. But I have a lot of Christmas cards left that I bought over the years. I don't send Christmas cards anymore. I used to. I, um, but I stopped that practice about, uh, I'd say, two or three years ago. I quit sending Christmas cards because it just got to be too expensive, you know. So what I do sometimes is I just save the really nice Christmas cards that I've gotten and I hang those up. You know, that way I feel I feel like somebody sent me a card. And I know people like to get Christmas cards. And I kind of felt bad not doing it anymore. But the stamps are expensive. The cards weren't because I would pick them up, you know, on sale. But um, so that's what I do. I save the really nice Christmas cards. I put it with all my Christmas decor. And then I hang them back up. So, anyway, let's see what other Christmas and Thanksgiving tips. I don't buy meat anymore. I used to buy meat um, for the family, even though I didn't eat it. And now I just make basically vegetarian dishes. And they could be non-traditional, like I'll make uh, spaghetti with some sort of vegetarian protein in it whether that's TVP or it's usually what it is. That's textured vegetable protein. I'll make a chili or I'll make a spaghetti, um, you know, things like that. And, you know, the family loves those things. It doesn't always have to be a, a turkey dinner. Um, and if somebody wants turkey or whatever, they, they can bring it along. That's fine with me. But I don't buy meat anymore. So that saves actually a lot of money. Um, and what else? I try and keep my decorations very simple. I keep my little Christmas tree. Uh, it's, it's a slim tree. And I just put it up on a stool and make it look bigger rather than having a little tiny tree on the floor. And what I do is I just put... Uh, the skirt over the stool and it, it makes a beautiful Christmas tree and I keep it decorated I just have a huge uh, black bag you know like a construction bag and I stick the whole decorated tree in the bag every once in a while I have to redecorate it because it gets a little smushed but um, and then I like the little mini lights, I do put those up. I used to do just the clear uh, because I like that look with a lot of red bows and things. But I've kind of uh, moved over to the multicolored lights now. So, uh, and I do like to put those like on top of the armoire and things with some greenery. So I try and keep my Christmas decor uh, to a minimum but still that it's nice and warm and uh, cozy. And as far as Thanksgiving, I just pick um, fall decor, you know, fall leaves and scarecrows. And um, I don't really decorate like for Halloween or anything like that. Um, I just make it one fall decor. So th those are some of the things that I do to simplify for the holidays and try and make it more pleasant for myself and my family. So, all right, I got to get out into the yard in a little bit here. So I'm going to finish my coffee. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to continue my list. So, all right, well, I'll be back at the end of the day to sign off before I go to my little granddaughter's play. That should be fun. All right, so I will be back later. All right, so I managed to get myself out here in the garden, and these are some of the areas I have to clean up, and I have to focus on one area at a time, or I'm all over the place. So um, I need to clean up this area yet, 
take the umbrella down. I'm leaving it out here, but I'll probably just cover it with a big black bag. Maybe cover up the table, because I do want to keep this table. I want to keep these two chairs. They're good chairs. So I need to clean that up. And then I have another area over here that I need to clean up as well. And I do like this little bistro set, but it is starting to fall apart. I've had it for a long time. And I kind of like the way it's worn. So I'll keep this seating area and this seating area. And the fern grew a lot, but the um, fuchsia is dead, so that needs to go. Um, then I always have Chloe taking this area apart. Drives me nuts. She gets caught in here and... Oh, always something. They are so destructive, these dogs. So anyway, this I'm going to keep the way it is. I planted some perennials here. So this is fine. Uh, I'll clean that up in the spring. Over here, this is all oregano and it's ridiculous. <laughs> if I live to be a hundred, I will never use all this oregano. So I totally want to move this somewhere else. I want to cut it back. Some of it I'm going to throw out in the woods. Some of it I'll dry, but it's just way too much. So this will be an area that I need to concentrate on. Because, like I said, if I don't concentrate on one little area, I'm just all over the place. And then I don't know what this guy's looking for. I think he wants a tomato. He likes tomatoes. What are you looking for, buddy? You want a tomato? I see one over there. Okay, hang on. What are you eating, the zinnias? Hold on, I'll get you a tomato. Whoa, yeah, I know. Well, let's see if we can find some more tomatoes. Chloe, you don't like them. Lizzie does. Give Lizzie some of that tomato. Let's see if we can find another one. Hold on, Lizzie. Here, I found one for you. There you go. There you go. Chloe. Where are you? Nope, Chloe didn't want one. So Bandit's already done with that. He made quick work out of that, didn't you? That was like gone in 60 seconds. Oh, I see here I've got some lettuce coming up in my tree here. No, don't eat that. Yeah, I like lettuce. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. So I'm thinking if I get the chance, I want to cover this little, this little basket here with a uh, cover, plastic, because this is all lettuce that, that came up. So alright, lots of work to do, but I have to concentrate on zones, otherwise I get totally discombobulated. and. Uh, there's still a couple of teeny tiny eggplants on here. And they are really small. But they're okay to put in a soup or something, so I'll cut those back. All right. So I got to get busy now. And maybe tomorrow I'll show you an update because this is going to be a very long video. So I covered everything out here with these big, huge plastic bags. Um, I have I ordered a whole box from Amazon two or three years ago, and I much prefer using these over the chair covers because in the spring I don't have to store these. I can use them then for garbage, so and then I can throw them away. So I try and cover as much as I can with big black plastic bags. Now this one I did get a new cover for. The other one was all worn out and that was already in my garage. So that's how I cover my um, summer furniture. 
and I've had it outside for years and it seems to last. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. Be good to animals. And we'll see you next time. Right? Okay. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Thanks for watching.